Welcome, everybody. Welcome back. We are doing our review for lesson 26, uh, Constructing Tangents to Circles. And so uh, this is relatively short, but we want to make sure we're clear on, on the constructions. And a lot of them are based upon perpendicular bisectors, right? And some of the concepts we have with circles now. So the first question number one is for each circle shown below, this part A and part B, uh, construct a tangent to the circle at point A and leave all construction marks. All right, so I am not going to be using the ruler, but you will. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is our first step is to draw the radius, uh, not just raise a line uh, that passes through the center through our point of 10 CA. So I'm going to draw this little line here, okay? You will do the same as well, okay? And I'm going to adjust this a little bit to make sure it's a little bit clear. So I had the benefit of the computer. Uh, you, however, you will have to make sure you are you are good with the line segments, straight edge and paper. Okay, so draw a line, uh, a line segment going through point O through A. Okay, and so what we're going to do in this case is that remembering that our tangent line is perpendicular to the radius. Uh, in this case, the line that connect that goes through the radius uh, of the circle here. So we're going to draw a perpendicular by a perpendicular uh, segment passing through the point A. So the first thing you want to do in this case is when op put the middle point on to point A, open up a little bit. Okay. I'm going to see if I can spin this around a bit. No, it's a little off the page. So maybe I'm going to move this this way. Okay. So I can draw my arc or maybe I can, I'll do it from this point of view. So yeah, hopefully this will be helpful. All right. So I'm going to put the middle point here and I'm going to mark off, I'll mark off two two uh, parts on the line that's just you. I'm going to open this up a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to mark off in this case this segment here. Oops. Mark off this piece here. Okay. And I'm actually going to draw a semicircle. Okay, and the important points we found are at these points, okay, these two we'll call anchor points here. I'm going to call this um, B and C. Ooh, let's see now. Call this point B. All right. And I'll call this point C. Now, the idea is these points are very important for us because we're going to construct our perpendicular bisector of line 7 BC. That will help us in this case because we know we already established in this case A is equal to this for AB. So, all right. So here we're going to, here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring our, our compass over to point B. Okay. No. I'm going to compass over to point B. I'm going to open this a little bit wider. A little bit wider. Okay, a little bit wider. Okay, a little more than halfway. So I'm going to change this color as well too. So I'm going to make this uh, blue. All right. So now I'm going to draw a semicircle. Okay, going this way. And now I'm going to repeat the process. By flipping this and putting the middle point onto middle point onto C, not changing the width. I'm not going to change the width here, though. Okay, so keep the width of your compass the same. Put the middle point on C, and now you're going to draw another semicircle here. Okay, make sure I get this on the right point. It keeps moving a little bit. Not so helpful. So yeah, even compasses of computers are a little, little tricky. So now I'm going to draw a semicircle again. And we're going to see in this case where the two blue arcs meet, we're going to draw our draw our line. And we hope that we, we sure hope in this case, that's going to pass through point A. Hopefully it will. So let's take a look. So connect this here. Start from this point to this point. Hey, it looks pretty good. Okay. And so now I'll extend this as well. So we're just passing through the perpendicular bisector of line segment BC, and we'll see in this case it is perpendicular to to the original line we drew from O to, O through A, and then we found our two anchor points and we found to create the line segment BC and did the perpendicular bisector. Uh, let's do this again. We'll do another one of these for uh, in this case one B one B. Okay. All right. So here's point A. Again. Our first step, let's draw a line that connects, a line, it's a line segment, at least a line, you know, going through point O through point A, okay, past it out here, okay, and I'm going to make sure that's pretty much on there, 
hope so at least. Uh, okay. All right. So now that was our first step. Let's bring up our compass. Okay. So again, we're going to put our needle point or metal point on point A. Okay. And we're going to draw a semicircle marking off. Open this up a little bit. Open this up a little bit here. Okay. So we're going to draw semicircle this way because I want to hit that line we drew had two points. Okay, great. And again, we'll call this point B and point C. So now we have line segment B, C. And I call those anchor points here. Oops, point C. And so on this line segment B, C, we're going to, we're going to find the perpendicular bisector. Okay, so let me just rotate this around a little bit and all. Bring this over here. I'll put the middle point on B and open up my compass to be a little bit wider. A little bit wider. All right. And so, and the idea is I'm going to draw those same um, semi arcs, semicircles as well, too. This time I use green. Okay, so here we go. So, semicircle going this way. Okay. Don't need to draw circles, semicircles fine. So okay, here's good. And then keeping the compass with the same, I'm going to flip this. Oop, flip this. I'm going to flip this. Okay, let me just delete these here. Delete these two points. Okay. Now <laughs> that's good now. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to move this over here. Middle point on C. Remember, not change the width of the compass, though. We're not going to change the width of the compass. And draw a semicircle as well here. And where the two green arcs meet, we're going to draw a line passing through them. And this line will be our tangent line. So let me just connect the point here and through here. Okay. Extend this null. Okay, and now, you know, the tough thing is this, when you do these, they may not be perfect, okay, so that's the thing. I mean, I'm using uh, the computer to do this null, so it's a little bit better, but even still, I'm a little bit, a little bit off null, and so we're not using precise equipment null. So if you're off by a little bit, don't worry about them. Okay, so again, the concept of tangent line from a point circle is draw a line through the center, through the point of tangency, then we're going to draw a line perpendicular to that. Now that's basically drawing an arc from point A to four, four, five points B and C on that line and a perpendicular bisector that of, uh, of line segment BC. Okay, so now for question two, it says here for circle O are shown, construct all tangents from point P to circle O, label the points tangency A and B and leave all construction marks. So here what we want to do is we're going to connect, okay, so I got to, of course, label these here. So this is circle O, okay? So this is circle O, okay? And this is circle, this is, so, and that's, so point O and this is point P. And so our very first thing we want to do when we do these is we're going to connect the line segment OP, okay? And this line segment that we're forming is going to be a diameter of a circle, okay? Diameter of a circle. Uh, of a new circle in this case. And this new circle is going to help us find our, inf our information. And so now, how do we find the diameter? The, uh, in this case, what this, this is diameter OP, what we need to do is find the midpoint of this diameter. And to do that, we're going to, again, do a perpendicular bisector, okay, to find the midpoint. Here, the nice thing is that we're just going to now put our, rotate a little bit, put our needle point on O, Open your compass a little bit more halfway, and then again, draw a little semicircle. Okay, great. Now we're gonna keep the width of the compass the same. We're going to put the needle point on point P. And then draw a semicircle. Now, we're, where the two green arcs meet, we're going to find the perpendicular bisector of line segment OP. Okay, now this time I'm going to use a dashed line. So, okay, so I'm going to connect this point here to this point here. All right, let me just make sure it lines up. 
Okay. Hopefully you, you got lined up as well. This point intersection, we'll call this we'll call this point M, the midpoint. And so this point M is super important now. And why is it important? This is the midpoint. And now we're going to draw the circle, construct the circle that it has the center at point M. Okay, and I'm going to probably need to bring this down a little more, I'll rotate this way because I can get to the side here. So I'm going to put the needle point on point M. And you can put the pencil point on either a point O or point P. Does not matter. Does not matter. Okay, so I'm going to move this this way. I'm going to bring this in a little more. Point P. It's kind of that should be itself, but you know, again, Peter's not very helpful, but okay. And it's pretty good. Okay, that's even better. All right, we'll make this circle. Maybe uh, we'll make this circle red. How's the sound? And so now we're going to draw our circle, a circle M in this case. Oh, worked out well. Okay, so now you might say, why did we draw this circle for? Okay, so now here's the thing. We drew this circle, and at where the re red circle meets the, so in this case, circle M, meets circle O, those are our points of tangency. Okay, those are points of tangency. So we're going to draw tangent lines. Okay, and so I'm going to draw a blue tangent line. But we'll say in this case, we'll call this point A and point B. So let me call this point A and this point B. Okay. A little closer. Okay. Okay. So now what we want to do is now create the tangent lines. And so we're going to connect in this case our tangent line here. And let's make this here from point A, P to through A. That's one line tangent. And from point P through B, is another line tangent. Okay, there you go. Those are the two tangent lines to point O, or circle O, at points A and B from point P.